And greetings YouTube gamers, welcome to another episode of Retro Raider. My name is Johnny Retro and welcome to the channel. So guys, this video is a follow-up video of a series that I started last month. The series is called What Am I Playing? And like the name says guys, this series is, you know, me talking about the games that I'm currently playing from my collection. You guys seem to enjoy the first video and I decided to make another one. This segment of the channel is also cool because, you know, allows me to talk about games that I usually don't talk about on the channel. You know, maybe games that I don't find the need to make a full review of it. So yeah. Yeah. However, if you are new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a thing. So without further ado guys, let's check out the games that I'm currently playing right after this. Okay, number one, this is a Super Nintendo game and uh, it was actually a donation from a fellow viewer, Equinox. Now, this game was given to me by Mike from Game Chest. And the reason why he donated the game to my collection was because, you know, very recently I did a review of an NES game called Solstice. And I said on the video that the game actually got a sequel, but uh, a sequel that I never got the chance to play, Equinox. So I received a message from Mike uh, on Facebook and uh, he told me, well, we could meet up, grab some coffee and... Uh, I would give you the game because I have it and uh, I really don't need it on my collection. So I met Mike, super cool, nice dude. And he is also a fellow YouTuber, so uh, I will leave the link of his channel in the description box below for you guys to check it out. However, let me warn you that his channel is in Portuguese. So I've been playing Equinox, uh, good game, but um, in my opinion, it is not as good as Solstice. The fun is there, the puzzles are there, like the previous one, a very, very hard game. The graphics are better, of course, and the graphics are beautiful, uh, we're talking about Super Nintendo. But I don't know, I think that overall the game just feels a little bit more empty. Haven't beat it yet, of course, like I said, it is a very hard game. But I'm a huge fan of old school puzzle isometric video games, so, uh, you know, I will keep trying and uh, probably beat the game. And if you haven't checked out my review of Solstice, I will leave a link of that review in the description box below. So that's number one. Number two, well, I've been messing around a little bit with my PlayStation Classic. And yes, if you haven't watched my previous video, I did buy the PlayStation Classic. I've said everything that I had to say about this, I'm not going to jump, you know, if it is worth it to buy it or not. I am just enjoying a little bit of nostalgia with the classic PlayStation. So, been playing a couple of the classics, of course, that I've tried Final Fantasy VII. Here's the thing, for somebody that grew up with Final Fantasy VII, as somebody who beat it the game more than 10 times now, I really don't feel the need to play it again. On the PlayStation Classic. I also got back into Apes Oddworld, one of my all-time favorite video games on the original PlayStation. And seriously guys, if you never played this game, please give it a try. But the two games that I've been playing out the most are games that I didn't have back in the day. One of them is Jumping Flash, and uh, believe it or not, I've been very nostalgic with this game on the PlayStation Classic. Early release on the original PlayStation, and uh, like I said, I didn't got this game back in the day, but I've actually played a lot of it on the demo disc. And now I get to experience, you know, the full experience of the game and uh, it is actually a fun game to play. Didn't age very well, for sure. I mean, we're talking about early 3D graphics. But it is actually fun, it is a first-person platformer and it is very Japanese and uh, I love that. Now, there's another game in here that really surprised me. A game that honestly I was pissed about being on the lineup, a game that I still think that should not be in here, but it is also a game that I never played it before. Truth is that I'm very addicted to it. That game is Mr. Driller. I don't know why, but since I got the PlayStation Classic, I've been playing this game every night. It is simple, it is straightforward, it is beautiful, and it kind of has this old school arcade vibe to it. And that I'm a big fan of. And the rest, well, I'm really just waiting for somebody to hack the system because it will happen. So I can put the games that I really want to play from the original PlayStation. So I can have my uh, my dream lineup on the PlayStation Classic. Next, I got a PlayStation VR game called Syndrome. I've been wanting to play this game since day one. The reason for that is because this game, as you guys can see right here, was developed here in Portugal. Truth is that I didn't bought the game when it was launched because it is a pricey game. You know, for a VR game, it is pricey. 40 damn euros. 
But I went to the store and it had a major discount for December. I paid $9.99 for this game, brand new, sealed, and uh, yeah, I had to pick it up. Now, first of all, I'm actually a big fan of the PlayStation VR. I love the virtual reality element in gaming. And yes, I know that it is not for everybody. And uh, you know, the support on the PlayStation VR by Sony is not being the best, but still there are fun titles to play, like survival horror games for example. This is what Syndicate is all about, and uh, you have two game modes pretty much. The story mode, it is not in virtual reality, and uh, you know, it is just a story mode. You woke up in a spaceship, everything is wrecked, you have no memory of what happened, your crew is missing, and you have monsters laying around. Yeah, it is that simple. Graphics are okay, the gameplay is okay, and the story is mm, meh. But let's not forget that this is an indie title. Now you have to play a little bit of the story mode in order to unlock the VR mode. And the VR option, you know, the VR experience, is pretty much a survival version of, of the game. And that, guys, will scare the shit out of you. So if you like PlayStation VR and if you find this game on a budget, well, give it a try. Now, last but not least, guys, I've been playing a game that I don't own physically. It is actually a homebrew game for the Super Nintendo. A Christmas-themed homebrew game called Christmas Grace. So I put the ROM of the homebrew here on my SNES Classic. And sorry guys, I'm not going to tell you where I got the ROM, but uh, you know, you can get that through a very quick and easy Google search. And I've played this game before, and uh, the reason why I'm playing it again was because I'm actually capture gameplay footage of it. Because I'm going to make a full review of Christmas Grace here on the channel, close to Christmas. Because it is a Christmas game, I love Christmas, I love homebrew games. It is a simple puzzle game, yet very addictive, very intuitive, and fun to play on the holidays. And that, guys, pretty much concludes the video. These are the games that I've been playing during December, and uh, please let me know what games are you playing this month. Are you currently playing modern games? Are you playing new releases? Are you playing retro games? Or are you like me and uh, you're playing a little bit of both? Let me know on the comment section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put a like on this video. Please subscribe to the channel and take care of yourselves. Take care of the gaming community and game a lot.